Hey, hey, welcome back, Barbarians. Today, we're going to be taking a look at another Destiny 2 video and glancing at the new Trials of Osiris weapon, Astral Horizon. Now, this thing comes in the Adept version this time, so I went and stagged myself a few rolls. I got a pretty good one here, uh, in my opinion, and it's pretty unique, which I'll show you in a second. Remember, if you do like this video, please make sure to like it and subscribe if you've really been liking the content as I try to post on the reg. All right, so taking a look at the rolls, this is grab from light.gg. Um, first column, we've got a bunch of different things, and just by the looks of them, I can't quite remember the names, but essentially, um, you want to play for something with range uh, in that first column. In that second column, you want to go after something like accurized rounds, and I'm just going to be talking about PvP here, guys. Um, in that third column, you can go with slide shot if you prefer that, but I'd recommend quick draw, which is on mine. And then in that fourth column, you really want opening shot, um, which I didn't get paired with my quick draw, but um, opening shot, celerity, some people like. Um, I'm not the biggest fan. If you play a lot of trials, you might like it. Or you could go for something like swashbuckler. Uh, One-two punch I really don't think is great, um, but again, that's just my personal opinion on the weapon. So we're going to um, take a look at some more gameplay clips here. <clears throat> oh, this is just the end of that game uh, there. All right, so uh, the Astral Horizon, which you get from going flawless this week, drops at an adept version of the weapon, just meaning you can go up to 1410 light, and you get a, a new adept mod as well. So I've got Rifled Barrel Smoothbore, I'm going to opt for Smoothbore, Appended Mag, Steady Rounds, I'm going to go for Appended Mag, Quick Draw, and Elemental Capacitor. Now on my Hunter with a Handling Masterwork, and I'm going to run Icarus Grip. I used to run, Elemental Capacitor is really interesting in my mind because of the subclass changes, it changes the weapon. And then you can see Adept uh, Mag here, which with a shotgun you don't really want to use and it decreases your handling. Um, but on other weapons that come out over time, maybe like Shadow Price in the next expansion, I think it could be good. So my initial thoughts on the weapon, I didn't fully upgrade this one, but I will. Um, of course, you get that plus 10 to whatever your masterwork is, and then plus 3 to the other ones, um, just giving it that a little bit of boost. I don't really, I wish I had a range masterwork, of course, on this. I get handling. And I think Elemental Capacitor is pretty good compared with Arc subclasses because you get plus 50 to handling. Uh, which is which is noticeable. Um, pairing that with quick draw, uh, this thing is very snappy, which which I like. Um, just missing out on that opening shot, God roll, which I did get on a non-adept version. So for PvP, I highly recommend getting this gun if you can go flawless. Um, one, just because the increased light level cap, you know, bring bringing it up to fourteen ten, that's going to be nice just for the longevity of the weapon, especially if you get a good roll, and then. <clears throat> Uh, two is a primary shotgun, which there aren't too many that aren't precision. Is it precision frame? Yeah, like the Chaperone or the new Heritage Raid um, rocket launchers. Um, so this, I think, is aggressive frame shotgun, so it, it's unique for that slot. And I think uh, there's very few options currently, and this might be the only one as far as that's in the game and not affected due to sunsetting. In this video, I'm pairing it with the Raid Scout Rifle, the Trustee. Uh, I have a pretty decent game here. Some good clips that uh, will be shown throughout. Just me dying right there, no big deal. Um, but really when it comes down to the god roll with the Astral Horizon, it's whatever works for your playstyle. And if you want it for PvE, there's some good rolls. You can get auto-loading holster, which is one of <laughs> kind of really come into uh, popularity this season uh, just due to some boss DPS. Um, I've always liked the Astral Horizon, but my only knock with the weapon is as you zoom in, especially doing it quick, the scope is a little bit more precise than some. Uh, for instance, comparing it to like the Mindbender's Ambition, which just has that nice circle. This has that dot, um, I believe, which sometimes feels like the pellets should hit and they don't. Um, and maybe that's just me being bad. I don't know. That could definitely just be me being bad. Uh, of course, with these new Adept weapons, if you don't know, they do have an Adept shader. I have a deleted. I have deleted five weapons, four or five adept weapons. That I haven't gotten it, so I assume it's RNG. Um, hopefully, there's no bug in the game that hasn't been discovered yet where you can't get that new adept shader. Because I really want it. I want to put it on my armor, if possible. This poor kid right off spawn. I think I'm gonna pull out the shotgun, quick draw, insane handling, a little bit of shade step action. Forgot I didn't reload the weapon, which is super embarrassing. Always make sure you're reloading, folks. Gosh, dang it, it's important. Um, and I think this, 
obviously didn't come with the best mod, uh, Adept Range, which I think will come out next week. Or I think it's going to be paired with the Sniper, if I had to guess, uh, when that comes out for the Adept version. So I'll be going after that. We'll be paired nicely with this shotgun. However, I think this shotgun is the best Trials weapon uh, that you can get. Um, there isn't a better one, in my opinion, even if you're a Sniper. I mean, this Astral Horizon just puts in the work that you need it to. Um, it can get the roles you need for PvP and to do well. Um, highly recommend adding it to your arsenal. And the nice thing about it is even if you don't, I don't want to say don't want to get the Adept, but if you're unable to get the Adept version just because it's Pinnacle, um, you can always go with the non-Adept version, which this weekend is at three wins, which is very nice, especially considering you can get the Mercy card that lets you start with a win or the one that uh, forgives you. Um, for a loss during your card. Um, so making that three wins much more achievable, especially if you're a new group of guardians or you're just LFGing your trials run just to try to get it. Um, before you witness that horrible super, I actually didn't know that I had Arc Shider on. I'd totally forgotten because I've used so much, uh, just been using straight up too much Revenant, to be honest, um, which I'm sure I'm not the only one. Uh, everyone's been using the new Stasis subclasses, especially in the Crucible. Um, they've been actually rampant in a good way, I think it's needed. You know, the bigger the population that uses them, the bigger it exposes some of the weaknesses and strengths. I cannot believe that uh, Warlock just got absolutely dumpstered on. So again, at this weekend, it's at three wins for the Astral Horizon. If you want to go after it, I'd highly recommend getting a group together. It's worth grabbing. Uh, it's going to be here for three or four more seasons, depending on the Adept or non-Adept. Uh, having said that, the mod, this Adept mag... We'll see. I haven't tested it out. I don't know how much it adds to the magazine. I should have ch tested it on the, uh, the Scholar, which came out last weekend. I think that would have been kind of a nice way to see the percentage increase. And of course, the, the drawback there is it decreases the handling, uh, which is the downside to that perk or that uh, mod. You know, especially with the mobility, not so much on Warlock, but more so on Hunter and Titan that the stasis subclasses provide. It's nice to have a shotgun that's going to be in the meta for a while. I don't see this going away. The only way this will go away is if one, Hun uh, Felwinters came back as a quest and everyone got their hands on it, or two, they just came, up, came out with another shotgun that uh, shined a little more brightly than this one. Uh, there's very few contenders right now in the Crucible. Uh, a couple exotics, there's the Heritage. Um, of course, there's Mindbenders if people are using non-sunset weapons, and then there's Felwinters Lie if you have it. So I think this is a top contender, especially it being re-released with a new group of Guardians in the game. And if you were unable to get it last time, there's definitely a bigger player pool in Trials at the moment, so it's definitely worth going after now as well. And I'm curious what you guys think. Feel free to drop a comment below. One, if you're going to go for this weapon. Two, if you like it. Um, anything around your thoughts about this weapon. Uh, I personally love the weapon. I would rate 9.7 out of 10 for the Crucible. Very solid choice. The only reason I'm personally not giving it a 10 out of 10, uh, I don't think any weapon is really perfection in this game. Um, and having said that, that, my just personal experience with the scope, and it kind of hits weird sometimes. Um, that's the only thing I would say. And I think it's partly due to the way the gun's designed, which I know sounds strange. Uh, but I think that attributes to some of the scope issues that I have with it. But other than that, uh, perfect weapon. You can't really go wrong. Don't really know what that guy was doing at all. Um, but just a reminder, if you guys did like the content, I'm just going to let the rest of this game play out as we slay out this team here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.